Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm gonna be the show 17. So in this one, we have 93 overall Edwin Encarnacion making his debut. I believe he is the team collection for the Blue Jays. And then the rest of the team, we have Joe Maurer, K. Pritz, Ken Griffey Jr., Jose Altuve, Pepe, Jimmy Rollins, and Matt Holiday. We had to keep him in the lineup after what he did in his debut video. But taking a look at this Edwin Encarnacion card, he has 67 contact versus righties, 84 versus lefties, so contact numbers aren't bad. 94 power versus righties and 99 versus lefty so great power numbers and 78 vision which is also pretty good and then fielding he has 51 fielding 65 arm strength 49 reaction and 48 speed so fielding stats they're okay he's a first baseman so it doesn't really matter that much he can also play third base which we're not gonna play him there but that is the Edwin Encarnacion card now getting into the game our opponent has Gene Segura creative player George Springer Miguel Cabrera Freddie Freeman Dante Pichette Justin Turner, Max Scherzer, and Lou Brock. So Scherzer's on the mound, that finest card. We got Ron Guidry on the mound. So a pretty good matchup right there. To the top of the first inning we go. The full count of Pepe Alazar. The inside pitch, and that's ball four. So a leadoff walk to start off the game. The 0-2 counted Jimmy Rollins, the hit and run. And Rollins is going to hit one deep into right field. That ball is carrying at the warning track. And that is going to go over the wall for a two-run bomb. I didn't think that was gone, but a big shot from Jimmy Rollins. Now Edwin Encarnacion, his first at bat for the team. And he's going to pop it up into left field for an out. So nothing going for him in his first at bat. But we do take a 2-0 lead in the top of the first. Now we go to the bottom of the first. Gene Segura up the bat. And Segura is going to hit a solo shot into left field. Man, I did not expect that. Not really the best pitch. We left it kind of in the middle of the plate. And he connected. Now an 0-2 count to his creative player, and he's going to line one into left field for a base hit. So back-to-back -back hits for him to start it off in this inning. Not really what we need. Now two outs in the inning. Freddie Freeman up, and he's going to pop it up behind the plate. Mauer is there, and that's an easy out. So luckily, no more damage was done in the inning. Now we go to the top of the second inning. The 3-1 count to Joe Mauer, the inside pitch, and he's going to get hit by a pitch. So Maurer gets on base. That's going to bring up K. Pritz. And Pritz is going to hit one up the middle for a base hit. Now we got runners on first and second in great scoring position. That's going to bring up our pitcher, Ron Guidry. Now I probably should have laid down the bunt right here, which is what we normally would do. But instead, we're swinging away and we're going to hit a grounder to short the double play to end the inning. Terrible right there. Now we're going to the top of the third inning. The full count to Edwin Encarnacion. The slider down the middle of the plate and we miss it. Yes, it was a good pitch. Now we go to the bottom of the third. The 2-2 count to his creative player. The high fastball. And that ball is gone. Another solo shot that we give up. And that's going to tie this game up at 2-2. Now we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. The 0-2 count to Miggy. The inside slider. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Still in the fourth inning. The 1-1 count to Freddie Freeman. The inside pitch is hit down the first baseline. And that's going to be fair. So that's going to end up being a double Kind of a nasty hit. Nothing we really can do about that, but we got it in as quick as possible, keeping him at second base. Now two outs in the inning with a runner at third, and he's going to hit one deep into right field. Griffey making a run on it at the warning track, and he's going to make the play. That's a huge out. Now we go to the top of the fifth inning. Gidry up to bat. It's a 2-2 game, and Gidry's going to rip one right past the third baseman for a base hit. Too bad he couldn't do that earlier in the game when we had runners on first and second. But that's going to bring up Pepe Alizar. One out in the inning and Pepe is going to hit a slow roller right back to the pitcher. He feels it and he's going to throw it to second. We're safe there. Pepe beats it out at first. So now we got runners on first and second. Probably not the smartest play. And then Jimmy Rollins is going to rip one into the gap. Going to go off the wall so close to a three-run bomb. But two runs coming around to score. Pepe just getting in. And then we get ourselves into a little pickle. Rollins going back to second and he gets tagged out. It wouldn't be a game if we didn't make a base running mistake. That's going to bring up Edwin Encarnacion with two outs in the inning. The high fastball. And he hits it up the middle into the shift. And that is going to be an out. So 0 for 3 so far for Edwin Encarnacion. Now we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. His pitcher up the bat. And he's going to hit a grounder to third. K. Pritz making the jump throw. And he gets the out. Nice play right there at third base. Now we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Springer up the bat. And Springer's going to line one into the gap. Going to go all the way to the wall. And he's going to end up with a double to start things off for him in this inning. So... Big hit right there. It's still a 4-2 game, so we got to minimize this 
and get out of it as quick as possible. Two outs in the inning, and we get a grounder to second. Altuve makes the throw to first, and we keep it a 4-2 to two game. Now we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. The 1-2 count, Bichette up the bat. The inside fastball got him frozen for the strikeout. Now we go to the top of the eighth inning. Edwin Encarnacion up the pitch away, and Encarnacion goes deep for a solo shot. His first hit for us is a home run, which is pretty dope. That's going to make it a 5-2 game. Now we go to the bottom of the 8th inning. Gidry still on the mound. We got one quick out. And then he gets a base hit up the middle with Segura. So he's hitting pretty good with him. Probably why he has him at the leadoff spot. But one out in the inning. His creative player up the bat. And he's going to line one into right field. Griffey can't get there in time. And that's going to go all the way to the wall. The runner from first is coming all the way around to score. Which he does. And he's going to end up with a double. So that's a huge hit to make it a 5-3 game. That's going to bring up Springer again with one out in the inning. A slow roller down third. And we cannot make a play on that. We try to dive to get there. Not close enough. So another run comes in to score, making it a 5-4 game. And he has a runner at first. Now two outs for Freddie Freeman. The low curveball. And we force a grounder to second. Altuve is there. The little spin throw gets the out at first. Now we go to the top of the ninth inning. The 3-1 count to Matt Holiday. The pitch high and in. Ball four, so a leadoff walk to start things off for us. That's going to bring up Altuve, and Altuve is going to hit one deep into left field, and that's going to go off the green monster. Thought Altuve had his first home run for us so close, but he's going to end up with a double. Now we have runners on second and third. Joe Maurer up the bat, the 2-0 count, and Maurer is going to get a base hit. That's going to get through, so both runners come in to score, and Maurer is going to end up with a double, so a huge hit right there, and that is going to make it a 7-4 game. That is going to bring up K. Pritz. Still no outs in the inning. And Pritz is going to get a base hit up the middle. Joe Maher is going to come around to score. And that's going to make it an 8-4 game. We're staying at first for the single. That is going to bring up Carlos Beltran next. Pinch hitting. And Beltran is going to join the party. He gets a base hit up the middle. Everyone diving out here. But we're going to stay at second. So now we got runners on first and second. Still no outs in the inning. A nice start to this inning. That's going to bring up Pepe Alazar. And of course, Pepe ends the run. He's going to pop it up into foul territory. And that is going to get caught for the first out of the inning. So still, we got runners on first and second in a great position. Jimmy Rollins up to bat. And Jimmy is going to pop one up into left field at the warning track. And that is going to get caught. So two quick outs after having like six straight hits to start off the inning. But Edwin Encarnacion comes up. Two outs in the inning. And Encarnacion, no doubt about that one. A three-run bomb, making it an 11-4 game. His second home run of the game. That was a huge shot. Now we're still in the ninth inning. Griffey up to bat. Griffey wants to join the party. He's going to hit one deep into left field. That's going to go off the green monster. He's going to end up with a double. Trying to keep this inning alive. We already got a sixth spot in the ninth inning. That's going to bring up Matt Holliday, who started everything with the walk. This time, he lines one into right field, and that's going to end it for us. But a huge inning in the top of the ninth. Now we go to the bottom of the ninth. I try to use this 99 Kenley Jansen. Second pitch, he gets injured. So we brought in Coda Glover. I didn't even mean to bring him in. I wanted to bring in Pat Neshek, but Coda Glover gets the pop-up. Edwin Encarnacion is there for the out. So we get a quick first out. We end up getting another out. And then with two outs in the inning, the 1-2 count to Killebrew, the slider away, swing and a miss for the strikeout, and that is the game. So we get a nice 11-4 victory, a huge ninth inning, getting six runs. Edwin Encarnacion in his debut, goes two for five with two home runs and four RBIs. Another solid debut. That's back-to-back. -back. Normally our debuts are kind of iffy, but this was a good one. Jimmy Rollins goes 2 for 5 with a home run. Joe Maurer goes 1 for 3 with a double and 2 RBIs. And then K. Pritz goes 2 for 4 with an RBI. Ron Gendry pitched pretty good. 7 and 1 third innings. Had 2 strikeouts. He did give up 4 runs. But taking a look at the rest of the box score. So Pepe goes 0 for 2. He had 2 runs. Rollins, we didn't even mention this. He had 4 RBIs. Griffey goes 1 for 4. Holiday goes 0 for 4 after going 5 for 5 in his debut. Altuve went 1 for 4. Almost had his first home run for us. And then Gendry also picked up a hit. And a run. Baltron had a pinch hit hit. So hitting wise, we did pretty good, especially in that ninth inning. And then our bullpen did pretty good getting the last five outs for us. Herrera gave up a hit. 
And then we wanted to try out that new Jansen. He got injured, but Coda Glover closed it out for us. But that victory gets us plus 21, putting us to 853 for this season. So we're getting there. We're getting to that World Series level. But that is going to do it for this one. So Edwin Encarnacion in his debut goes two for five, had two home runs, four RBIs, which is pretty solid. That's what we want from our debut players. So hopefully we can keep this run going. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm out.